within your Acajum newsletter template. So here you see um, I am at the back end administration on the control panel. And from here, we're going to go to components, Acajum, and you're going to go to your list. And once you're at your list, you're going to click on the newsletter that you want to use. And for this example, we're going to use the first one. And once you're in your edit a newsletter list, you're going to click on your template tab so that it dis displays your newsletter in the editorial window. So what I want to do is I want to replace this what's new images with another images with another image that I've made that currently resides on the server. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image I want to replace. And I'm going to go up here to the editor toolbar and I'm going to click on the scissors icon. So I'm going to cut it out. So once you do that, then it disappears. And you want to make sure that you do not click anywhere else and that your cursor stays right there, otherwise it could mess up your formatting. So with the cursor there and left intact, I'm going to click on the little postage stamp icon here. And this is the insert edit image icon. So once I click that, it's going to display a web page dialog box. And it's going to show me all my images that are currently in my shared images folder on my server. So I'm just going to go down to the very bottom and I'm just going to find the image that I want to replace it with. And here's the image. And so I'm just going to select that and click insert. And there you go. The image is now inserted and it was replaced with the previous image. And that is all there is to it. Now if I want to link that image to a page on my website, then what I would do is I would click on the image and I would come up to the editor toolbar and right here where the globe is and the little chain link I'm going to click on that because that is your link icon and it's going to bring up another page dialog and here I'm going to choose articles and here's all the pages within my website so if I want to link it to one of these pages I simply just click on the page and click insert now the thing that you have to remember is that the page needs to exist before you can link anything to it. So, um, so I went ahead and linked this image to a content article or item and now that image is now linked. So when I send this email, when people click on this, it'll take them directly to the page that I link them to. And that's all there is it. That's all there is to it. Thanks and see you next time.